According to the American Cancer Society, over 9,000 children under the age of 15 will receive a cancer diagnosis this year. As September unfolds, it also marks National Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, a time where we turn our focus to the families with young cancer patients and the incredible organizations that work to support them. Today, we are honored to be joined by Laura Allen, who serves as the Executive Director of Children's Cancer Partners of the Carolina. Laura, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Taylor, for having us. So could you give us an overview of what the Children's Cancer Partners is? Sure, we're an organization that is two statewide, North and South Carolina, providing support to children and families that are battling cancer. The children um, in the Carolinas need an organization that's there to help them with transportation, food, and lodging around treatment care. Um, the financial burden that falls on a family is devastating when they get that diagnosis. Mm -hmm. And they have so much to worry about. You know, these right. things don't necessarily come to mind thinking about, you know, getting to the airport, the gas, all of these extra things. So that really is incredible. And now, do you know a number of the kids in the Carolinas that will be diagnosed with cancer? Yes, approximately 700 this year in North and South Carolina, about 300 in South Carolina and 400 in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. um, and we currently have over 2,000 children in our program. So not only the new diagnoses that come to us, we're still supporting children who have been diagnosed several years ago, who might still be on treatment, mm -hmm. who have relapsed, we also support when the ultimate tragedy happens and we lose the life of a child and they, uh, we help with funeral expenses. And now this is the leading cause of disease-related deaths for children, but there are only three locations in South Carolina that provide oncology treatment. There's three places for pediatric oncology treatment. So you and I as adults, we have so many choices, but for children they can go to Charleston, Columbia and Greenville, South Carolina. Why do you think that that is such a small? Because the numbers are so small relative to adult oncology and because it's so specialized, the equipment, the research, the, the, med the, the medical teams, there's just so many other components. So, um, and, and just the research alone, let's talk about another staggering statistic. 4% yeah. of all cancer research is for pediatrics. Wow. And now, you last year in 2022, you guys, did tremendous work. Um, I don't know if you have those numbers available, but um, I do. I have them right here. Um, you guys reimbursed 1,638,271 miles yes. um, for transportation. Is that going to and from treatment or is that, you know, just all around? It's going to and from treatment. Mm -hmm. It's the children that are in Myrtle Beach coming to Charleston. It's the children that are down in the low country in Buford and, and that and Bluffton area coming up to to yeah. Charleston. It's um, because again, the distance, there's 46 counties. We have three counties that provide cancer treatment. Yeah. So. And so this has been, the Children's Cancer Partners has been around for 23 years, but what are your hopes, Laura, for you know the next decade? My hopes for the next decade are that maybe by this time in 10 years, we might not, we could just put ourselves out of business because there'll be a cure for childhood cancer. I don't think it's likely. Mm -hmm. So my real true hopes is that the people of the Carolinas support the children of the Carolinas and help us to help them. Mm -hmm. That's sort of our theme for Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. Yeah. And now what can our viewers do to, to help? Sure, they can go to our website, childrenscancerpartners.org and make a donation. They can look at our website and see there's a great program for kids called Kids and Lids. It's a school-based program that can be done anytime time of the year, a 10-year-old girl came and created that with for our organization um, about seven years ago. Um, you can do an, a, a, a third-party fundraiser, have a, uh, have a car wash, have a bake sale. I mean, there's lots of things you can do um, to help us help these children. Yeah. Well, Laura, thank you so much. We will put that website information down below. Um, I really enjoyed speaking with you today. Thank you. Absolutely. We're back in two minutes. 